Easter is over and we are still waiting. Waiting for the pandemic to end. Waiting to be able to be released from our homes. I have to say it's kind of beginning to bother me. But if you think about it, we spend so much of our lives just waiting. Uh, we wait for babies to be born. And then when they're born, we wait for them to sleep through the night. And then we wait for them to wean. And, and I remember just even waiting for them to be old enough to take their own showers. But waiting doesn't stop there. We, we wait for test results. We wait for promotions. We wait for kids to graduate. We wait for um, kids to move out. We wait to meet Mr. Wright or Mrs. Wright. We wait most of our lives. In fact, waiting is a very spiritual, um, a very spiritual concept that's found in scripture as well. In scripture, we have Abraham and Sarah waiting their entire lives until they're quite elderly before they have their first child. And then we have um, the nation of Israel who wanders in the desert waiting for 40 years. We have Jacob who waits 14 years to finally marry the love of his life, Rachel. Uh, we have Paul who's continually waiting to get out of prison. And of course, we have Jesus waiting in the desert for 40 days as he is tested. Waiting is sort of a part of who we are, even as followers of Jesus Christ. So about 10 years ago, I read a book by a woman named Holly Whitcomb called The Seven Spiritual Gifts of Waiting. I've actually given the book away to a lot of people. I really, it's a very powerful book. Um, and she gives seven ways in which um, waiting is an enormous opportunity for us to become more mature in our faith. They literally waiting can be a spiritual discipline. The first one she, that she references is waiting brings patience. Now, I've never particularly liked learning patience because it's painful to learn patience. Um, but in patience, many power, powerful things happen in our lives. First of all, patience teaches us that there are no quick fixes. As much as we would like um, life to move more rapidly and bad things to change quickly, we're often waiting for things to be fixed. Um, Isaiah 40, 31 reminds us, But they who wait in the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And it's a great reminder that even as we wait, God is bringing us strength and encouragement. A second thing that waiting does is it invites us to trust the fullness of God's time. What I mean by that is we have to learn to trust God for His timing. Um, Lamentations 3.25 says, The Lord is good to those who wait for him, the, to the soul who seeks him. We don't often like to wait for God's timing, but it's in God's timing that I've often seen um, people healed. I've often seen situations in my own life just naturally get taken care of. That in waiting, God brings about the things that he finds important. And um, that there's often good in the waiting if I could just trust God in his timing. A third thing is that um, waiting or patience, should I say, opens us up to active um, waiting. And what I mean by that, that in active waiting, we're not just sitting around, but rather we're dealing with the emotions connected to waiting. We are dealing with our pain or our struggles we are also understanding that in waiting, often small steps are being taken that will um, help us in the, in the long run to bring around real change. The last one is that patience gives us time to be with others, really present with others. Um, the last couple Fridays is my day that I call church members. And I've had wonderful conversations with people hearing about what's happening with their lives, what their kids are doing, um, what are their, how are they handling quarantine. It has been such a blessing to talk to so many people and really catch up. And I realized that's only possible because I was waiting. I was in quarantine and I had the time to actually do it. The scripture that I think brings me the most comfort is one that is found in Psalms 130. And this scripture says, I wait for the Lord, my soul waits. And his hope, and his word, in his word, I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning. More than those who watch for the morning. Um, I often have issues with sleeping, and I watch for the morning. But what happens in the morning is that the sun shines. And it is always a new day. 
And I love that, that in waiting, we always have the hope that morning will come and change will occur and life will one day be different. One day we will not be in quarantine. One day we'll be able to move around as much as we want. But I encourage you in this season of waiting that you seek God and you seek his ways and that you find peace in this time of waiting. Have a good Thursday.